Hi everyone. In this uh, video, I'm going to take you through some of the uh, properties we shall already know from our from grade seven and eight, seven and eight, uh, some of the geometry uh, properties. So first one we're going to look at is the straight line. So you might already know that the straight line is 180 degrees, um, and what we're asked to do here is measure ABD and angle DBC. To do that, all you do is you click on A. B and D, making sure B is in the middle, and we go to measure and angle. Okay, so it shows up over here, but we can slide it over here so that represents 76 degrees. Okay, same thing on this side, we can click here on the D, the B, and the C, and again hit measure, angle, and just looking at those two numbers, I don't know if you notice uh, what they add up to. That's actually what we're trying to trying to see here, what the sum is. Okay. Now I can actually even change that if I drag point D. Notice how they change. But what do you notice again about their what they add up to? Something neat in uh, Geometry Sketchpad that I can do is I can click on number to calculate, and just click on the first angle plus the second angle, and just hit OK, and it's going to show up here. So it's saying the sum right now is 180. Is that always true? So what we can do is we can actually click on D and we can actually just move D around. We can actually have the program, uh, so again, if you stop anywhere, 128 plus 52, of course, it's saying it over here as well that it's 180, okay? Uh, you can actually go on to, uh, uh, where was it, display and animate the point. So now that I've selected D, if I hit animate, notice how it moves around, the angles keep changing, and this keeps displaying. I can actually even form a, I know this one's a little bit uh, beyond the, because it's still measuring, now it's measuring A, D, B, so I'd prefer it to be over on the other side, so. Okay, so if we go on to the next one, so again, this what we were to see here was that the two angles on a straight line add up to 180. Now that one I think most people should have already realized. Uh, similar on this one, uh, this is 90 degrees, so angle C, D, B, or C, O, B, sorry. Select. I'm going to try that again. C O B, and we'll measure the angle once again. So this one's 56 or 56.1. So you should be able to tell me what this other angle would have to be if it's going to remember sum up to 90. So what we should notice is that these two angles indeed actually add up to 90 degrees. Okay, so if I go measure angle, and it certainly looks like they add to 90. So again, if you want to do our little check here, go calculate first angle plus second angle. Okay, and sure enough, it's 90. Occasionally, you might get like an 89.9. It's just the way the rounding happens sometimes in the within the program. So again, this changes. However, the sum of the angles is still 90. Okay, so if you're missing one, so let me just move this to something kind of relatively nice here, like roughly 40 degrees. And pretend you didn't see this one here, so you'd realize the whole thing's 90. 40 plus what would equal 90? Or 40 plus x equals 90, and then move the 40 over, we get 90 minus 40, so we get a 50 in here. Okay, next one. This one's a neat one. Um, what we're opposite angle theorem, so what it's actually trying to show is if this angle's maybe 30 degrees, what would this angle over on this side be? Okay, so let's go ahead and see what actually happens. So I'm going to click here on COA. Oh, let me deselect again. C O A. And again, I could have also did A O C would have been the same thing. So we're going to measure that angle. So this guy here is 53.8. And again, measure the same thing on this side. Measure this angle. So C O D. And measure angle. And again, same thing. Okay? So angle B O D. And anytime you see this on the German sketchpad, it's just the measurement of angle B O D. Notice the angles in the middle. So the angle that we're trying to measure is O. The reason why we can't just call it O is we don't know if we're referring to this top angle, the bottom one, the one on the right, or the one on the left. So we like to use three letters unless it's very clear that it's uh, which angle we're talking about. Okay. So again, if I move one of these, angles change. However, everything remains the same. Actually, they actually have an animate here, so you can actually see it go automatically here. Okay, so and I can pause it anywhere along the way. And again, I can create a table if I wanted to, but I, I don't think I need to in this case. Okay, number four, pretty neat one. Uh, angles inside of a triangle. 
I know some people think that it adds up to I, the big answer that is the, the number one wrong answer I guess I get would be 360 when in fact I think it's 188. So we did something like this in my class where we actually uh, drew a bunch of triangles. I had them tear off the corners and arrange the corners together. It's similar to this exercise here. So look at when I hit show the sum. Pulls the one angle out, second angle, and then the third angle. And what does that look like? Nice straight line again. So that adds up to 180. Now if I wanted to, I can actually measure these angles. PBA and go measure angle. It'd be really nice if I could just click on A and it would give me the measurement for A, but I don't believe it does. Let's try it. No, nothing shows up. Okay, so I have to actually put all three of these in. Oops, let me deselect again. B, A, C, and measure that angle. Where are those going? There they are. There's the first angle, second angle, and which one am I missing? It looks like the one with the C in the middle. I got the A, the B, and now the C. measure angle and we get oh looks like I did the same one yes I did let me delete that so I need the one with the C in the middle and let's just again make sure that actually does add up to 180 so slide this out of the way this this one So we see that it's 180, and again, if I animate the point or just move this around, actually, you can kind of see in the diagram, notice how C's gotten quite a bit bigger, and again, it's gotten bigger over in this one, uh, and again, in this one as well. So we see C is the largest one here in the actual triangle, and then also in this one that demonstrates that it adds to 180, okay? Uh, notice it said drag each vertex, so we didn't just have to move C, we can move any, any of the uh, vertices. I think I'll stop. Maybe I'll do one more and then I'll stop just because sometimes the video gets too large uh, for space wise. Okay. Uh, another kind of neat one here. Uh, what we have here is uh, an isosceles triangle because we have two sides equal. So you may remember what happens with angle B and angle C here. Again, let me measure those quickly. So A, B, C. Oops, not going to work. A, B, C. Measure the angle. So this guy here is 49.1 degrees. Let's measure the one on the other one here. And measure angle. So a lot of people always say, but the problem is sometimes if you're asked for this one up, the angle at A, and you have this as 49.1, the number one mistake people make is they want to call this one 49.1 as well. But remember, it's always the one opposite the equal side. So these two are 49.1. Now to find the third angle, again, Remember just from a couple uh, uh, screens ago that we saw that the uh, three angles add up to 180. Okay, and again, if I drag A, and we notice that those angles stay the same, or maybe if I move C here, oops, not the whole thing, but if I click on C, move these, uh, keeping those two sides the same, again, 48.3, 48.3. Okay, so I'll stop the video here, and, uh, and then I'll create another one just to uh, complete the rest of these.